How was AWS reInvent 2022? Come with me and let's recap. Kumusta? I'm Adrian Taka, Senior Developer Advocate for Cisco. I had the opportunity to attend reInvent this year, so I'm sharing my experience with you. Let's go! First up, swag. This year, we got these awesome black hoodies and a refillable water bottle with a charitable twist. Every time you reused your bottle, a dollar would be donated to fill it forward. Donations would be used to bring clean water to Kenya. We also got some inclusion pins, which were new. You could choose pronoun, spoken language, and interaction comfort level pins. As you can see, I'm rocking mine. With my swag achieved and badge ready to go, it was time to explore. To me, what stood out this year was how packed it was. Last year, a third of the attendees were present. This was closer to full capacity. Nevertheless, the DJ was still rocking, plenty of arcade games were available, and the large chalk wall was still there. Of course, I couldn't leave without adding some Cisco representation. With that out of the way, I moved on to the expo hall. First stop, the Cisco booth, of course. Our area was eye-catching and bright, with a great layout for our in-booth theater and demo stations nearby. So if you needed a demo in SD-WAN or had a question on app dynamics for open telemetry, a friendly Cisco expert was always ready to help. With some time before my own in-theater sessions, I decided to explore the rest of the gigantic expo hall. Every year, the booths get bigger, quirkier, flashier, and more interactive. I think my favorite part was finding a booth that served gelato. By this time, I was expoed out. I took a break and headed to the Hydrate to Help experience. Here, I carried two heavy containers a quick back and forth to simulate walking for water. Doing this contributed to the Fill It Forward initiative. Aside from neat experiences and impressive booths, content was obviously a big part of reInvent. Cisco's own Carlos Pereira had a session on full stack observability. And here, Justin Buchanan discussed an approach to network security with an application first perspective. Before I knew it, it was time to head back and give my own in theater sessions. Shout out to Vino for miking me up and helping me make a last minute change to my deck. I got to talk about API Insights, Cisco's open source tool that helped us improve our own API quality internally. My second session covered DevNet's learning labs and sandboxes, of which there are over 500. What's more impressive? Cisco put on a session every 20 minutes. We had so many great speakers and topics covered, usually with standing booth crowds. After taking a break with some games and picking up my last few pieces of swag, I made my way over to the Free Throw Analyzer, an interactive area that always had long lines. This incredibly cool demo uses a camera connected to a snowball edge device to take photos of your free throws 30 times a second and quickly predicts if your shot will make it. As you can see, I need a bit more practice. And according to their learning model, my arc is too high and I should extend my elbow more. As always, I make time to go to the Builders Fair to see the cool projects people are creating using AWS services. This is the will-powered robot, powered by brainwaves interpreted to be left or, in this case, right. <laughs> I'll do the uh, jumping, jumping jack. jack. Yeah. Cool. Next is Workout Buddy. Using some Lambda functions, OpenPose, a real-time multi-person keypoint detection library, and SageMaker, my jumping jacks were evaluated. Out of the five I did, three were less than stellar. It was towards the end of the day. What are you going to do? And here, I played a game of rock, paper, scissors against a robot, built using AWS IoT Greengrass, SageMaker, and a combination of solenoids, breadboards, and a camera. After capturing what my rock, paper, and eventually scissors hand poses look like, we were ready to play. Okay. 
It is crushed in the scissors. Yes, I lost to a robot. Next time, I'll do the Spock and see what happens. And just like that, reInvent was over. And so is this recap. I hope you enjoyed it and are excited for the next one. See you in 2023.